Welcome to Excel Array Formula Series number one. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and then click on my college website link and download the workbook Excel Array Formula Series 1 to 14. Hey, in number one here, we want to talk about what an array is and what an array formula is. So first, what is an array? Well, an array is two things. It's just a bunch of values. We use that word all the time in English, array. It just means a bunch of things. But in Excel, it means a bunch of things in cells, like Chevy, Ford, GMC, and then the unit sold here. Or it means in memory. So one way, I have one way to, to view an array is a range of cells. I'm going to click in this cell and hit F2. And there you go, the VLOOKUP function, we've, which we've looked at many times in these videos. It looks up the value Chevy. It goes over to this um, range of cells, which just happens to be an array. It looks in the second column. And we have a 0 there because it's an exact match because we're using a word. And from the second column, when I hit Enter, it brings back 2,000. So Chevy gives us 2,000. Now that's from uh, an array of values in um, some cells. Now let's go down to this one. And by the way, we can change this to the VLOOKUP. I have data validation here, a drop down list. If I change it to Ford, then it properly retrieves 25,000 units sold. Now let's see um, the second one. I'm going to click in this cell and hit F2. Oh, there's an array. There's an array. That curly bracket and that curly bracket right there house the array. Text has to be in quotes. Commas mean column, and semicolons mean row. So look, this is in column, uh, the first column, this is in the second column, then it goes down to the next row, and then column, column, next row, column, column. I'm going to click Escape. You can see that that's the same way this is set up right here. So that's a ex second example of an array actually typed in with array syntax. Now, I'm going to click down here and hit F2. Oh, that's named. Cars are named. I want to open up the name, um, uh, name manager formulas. Define names, define names, define names. In earlier versions, you go to insert names, define name. The keyboard shortcut that works in all versions is Control F3. And if I click on cars, you can see down here, oh, there's an array stored in memory. So that's what an array is. The only difference between a range of cells is that an array can be stored in memory. Now, whoops, I accidentally left these here. They're not supposed to be there. Now, on to what an array formula is. Now, let's look at a simple example here. We'll build a bunch of formulas to calculate units times price, and then we'll add them. Notice that when we do this, we're going to use a bunch of cells. The advantage, one huge advantage to an array formula is that you can do a bunch of calculations that you ordinarily do in cells all in one cell. So let's do this first step here first. I'm going to highlight the whole range. And in that top light colored cell, I'm going to say equals two cells to my left times three cells to my left, price times units. Now watch this. Because I have the whole range highlighted and I want to populate all of the cells in the range with that formula, which is a formula with relative cell references, I'm going to hold Control and tap Enter. If you don't believe it, click on the last one and hit F2. Sure enough, that worked. Now I'm going to add these using the keyboard shortcut for auto sum. Alt equals. Alt equals. Enter. That is our goal here to figure out the total sales using all the individual units times price. Now notice we had to use a lot of spreadsheet real estate here, a bunch of cells. Now we're going to do our first array formula, and we're going to compare that array formula to a regular formula that's not considered an array formula. I'm going to click down here. I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut for Alt equals. It totally guessed wrong. That's not what we want. That cell is highlighted, so that means you're in edit mode, so you simply can highlight it. Here's our array. I'm going to highlight a bunch of cells, and then I'm going to type the multiplication symbol and type a bunch of cells. Now notice, this is the first thing we can notice about array formulas that are different than regular formulas. If you remember up here, we had a cell times a cell, an individual cell times an individual cell. Whoa, these are ranges? You can do range times range? 
Well, watch this. If I hit Enter, no, you can't because you can't do that with regular formula. So I'm going to click back in the cell and hit F2, which is Edit Mode or Range Finder. In order to do a range times a range, you have to use the keyboard shortcut to tell Excel that this is an array formula. Now, you hold Control and Shift at the same time and then hit Enter. Whoa, all in one form, all in one cell, we did all of these calculations. Now I'm going to hit F2 and I'm going to try it again. Hold Control and Shift and tap Enter. Now I'm going to format this. The keyboard shortcut for currency format is Control Shift 4. Has nothing to do with an array formula. It's just that's a keyboard shortcut for currency. Hey, now to the two things we've seen so far, we were allowed to do operations on ranges, so that differentiates an array formula. You can see the array formula up here from a regular formula. Second, we had to use Control Shift Enter. Now, there's a third thing that differentiates array formulas from regular formulas. Whoa, what are those curly brackets? Those curly brackets are automatically put in. You cannot type those in. So there you have it. You do operations on ranges or arrays. You have to use Control Shift Enter and you get a curly bracket. Now, in the case of multiplying, there's actually a function that allows you to do the same thing. Uh, there's lots of other operations that don't have special functions, but multiplication has a function built in called sum product that is not considered an array formula. Let's try it. But it does multiplication on arrays. Watch this. Equals sum product. Go sum product and highlight this comma and highlight this. Notice down here it says array 1, array 2. It just knows this function with a comma separate and it knows to multiply that and that. Close parenthesis and watch this, enter. Okay, That's just in the case of product, which means multiply. Now I want to look at how Excel evaluates this. I'm going to click in this cell right here. I'm going to use Formula Evaluator. Formula is Formula Auditing Formula, or Evaluate Formula. In earlier versions, you go to Tools, Formula Auditing, Evaluate Formula. The keyboard work shortcut that works in all versions is Alt-T-U-F, Alt-Tough. Alt tough. There, remember, you can see, I mean, in the formula evaluator, you can see range times range. You click evaluate, and you can see here that syntax for array. There's a curly bracket, curly bracket. Notice it's all separated by semicolons, which means row. Just like when we did it by hand, it was all in separate cells and separate rows. Next, when you click evaluate, it will sum it. And that's pretty helpful, especially when you get to complicated array formulas. All right, we'll see you next array trick.